Sometimes you have to look up to see the collections. From the glass shade to the filigree and enchanting details, this hanging oil lamp draws your attention as soon as you enter the sala. How did this light fixture make the Taylor home its permanent residence? It all began with a thoughtful donation. During the early 1900s, Catholic residents of Newkirk attended Mass there and this light fixture greeted them. The fixture was donated to the church by Graciano Cabeza de Vaca, father of Fabiola Cabeza de Vaca Gilbert, who was a cousin of J. Paul Taylor. The lamp, which at that time used oil, was used until the church was electrified. When word got around that the church would be electrified and no longer needed oil lamps, Fabiola asked the priest what was going to happen to the oil lamp her father had donated. As the story goes, the lamp was to be discarded. However, Fabiola did not want to see the beautiful fixture go to waste, so she donated an unknown amount of money to the church and the lamp was given in exchange. Rather than keeping the lamp for herself, Fabiola thought of her cousin and called Paul to tell him that she was going to mail him the oil lamp for his new home. Paul graciously accepted the gift and when it arrived at Messia, he hung it in the sala for all to see. The light fixture was never altered from its original state and has greeted family and friends to the home ever since. Study the first image for a moment and you will notice a variety of parts in the lamp. On the bottom portion of the lamp is a small suspended bowl. That bowl is where the oil would have been stored. Attached to the bowl is the burner. The burner has a clear glass chimney attached to it where the flame would have been visible. If you look at the second photo, the chimney is visible. The ornate light fixture is adorned with intricate filigree as shown in the first photo and clear glass beads are hanging from the sides. The lampshade is made of white glass and various designs are carved out of the bottom of the bowl. Focus on the second photo. Do you see an animal figure? This light fixture was created in a Victorian era style and was decorated in that fashion. Greek mythology was popular throughout the Victorian era and everyday objects were adorned with mythological creatures. This figure is a Leocampos, a fish-tailed lion. Although the origin of the light fixture is unknown, Mr. Taylor believes it was purchased from the catalog. When visiting a historic home, you may not know where to look first since each room is typically filled with lots of fascinating objects. However, do not forget to look up because you may miss something spectacular just like this.